Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Well, I have been through camera hell. Uh, I have, my camera just quit working properly and showing proper colors. I ended up looking like pretty much orange. Uh, and so I, what I did was I have moved all over the room, tried different lighting and ended up, this is what I've been doing in the past four days. I've rearranged my room so I've ended up back where I started because as bad as it the lighting was here it was still better than anywhere else so um, I'm gonna have to break down I dropped this camera and it just hasn't worked properly since so I think I'm gonna have to break down and get a camera but um, just try to bear with me for a couple of videos until I can see if I can either get this one fixed or buy a new one so uh, hopefully the lighting won't be too bad. I'm, I'm trying anyway. So today I'm going to do a haul of some things that I have bought recently. April was my birthday month and it was also the 15% off of Sephora and the 20% coupon off of uh, everything in Ulta. So I took advantage of that. I took advantage that it was spring, the changing of the seasons and that it, I needed you know some things for my birthday to uh, some clothes. And um, I needed some things, you know, that I always buy that it was time to restock on. Every uh, year, Kristen and I take each other out for our birthday when it's our birthday month and when we do our filming together. And so she took me out to lunch and she took me, <clears throat> she got my coffee for me and she got me the most wonderful gift. And it means so much to me and she shouldn't have done it, but she got me... <clears throat> another Tom Ford Nude Vanille. I love this lipstick. It's just way too much that she, she did. She shouldn't have done it, but I'm so grateful. Thank you so much, Kristen. Um, your friendship means so much to me, and I'm very blessed to know you and to have you as a friend. I also had another friend that's a YouTuber. She gave me a gift card for Sephora, a very generous one. I never know whether to say names, so I won't, but uh, I can't thank you enough. It was way, way too much, way too generous, uh, but I thank you, and I was able to use it to stock up on some things and during that sale, and I'm so grateful, and you know who you are, and one other person um, that watches and is a friend is uh, she knew that I liked uh, the Bronte sisters books uh, and so she sent me a move, the movie Wuthering Heights and so I was so grateful to that especially since she knew that it would mean a lot to me and it, it really does so thank you for doing that you know who you are <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get started so the first one is uh, the Tom Ford lipstick from Kristen and she got me a new makeup bag which I'm so grateful about because she um, because my old one was just had had it and it was just nasty looking and uh, I really appreciate that so much Kristen and the next thing that I got was something that I was wanting to try so I took advantage of the sale to try it and it was from Moroccan oil it's the regular shampoo and um, they have it comes in three scents the original scent and orange and rose which is what I got now, Moroccan Oil makes several different types of shampoos. They make one, I think, for curly hair, like replenishing, for smoothing, just different types like that. But this is just their all-purpose one, I think. And so, I got it. Uh, so far, I'm not liking it real well. It leaves my hair, you can tell when it's wet, it leaves it gummy. Um, just pretty badly gummy, like, like I have a lot of uh, products still left in my hair. So, uh, other shampoos don't do that, but what I'm going to do is to give it another chance. I'm going to do a deep cleanse and get, you know, make sure all the products out and then try it again and see if it works. But so far, I'm not, I'm not real crazy about it. The next thing uh, I had on my Amazon wish list for my birthday, and it was uh, Vince Camuto shoes. And they are so pretty. I love them so much. I didn't think that I would be able to get them, but Doug got them for me. And they're very comfortable. I mean, I couldn't walk for miles in them, but I certainly wear them to work. Uh, beautiful summer shoes, wear them to work. 
I can go to the grocery, walk around, to go to Walmart, whatever I need to do. And they're, they're comfortable and they don't hurt my feet for short periods of time like that. But they're, they're really, really pretty and I like them a whole lot. So I'm very grateful for those. They also got me a gift card from Ann Taylor and one from um, Free People. So I'm actually doing outfits of the week. Uh, I took the day off today to try to work on this camera. So I'm extending my outfits of the week through Monday. But uh, I bought some things from Ann Taylor and Free People that I will, will show during those outfits. And I also got some dresses, because I wear dresses to work, uh, especially in the summertime, uh, from Wish.com. And Wish.com just sells really inexpensive items. So uh, I, I got some dresses that I was really happy with that were like $10 or $13. So I'm going to be showing some of those in my outfits of the week too. So I won't, I won't show those today. My next thing are something I normally wouldn't talk about, but they are nightgowns. Uh, I like to wear nightgowns to bed. They're very cooling, especially in the summertime. And I just thought these were so cute. I wanted to mention them because they're, they're a really good price. You get them from Target and they look like a maxi dress. So they're just so cute and comfortable. And they got the little straps right here. I got them in several different colors. I got them in, got one in purple. I got one in gray, I got one in navy, and I got one in black uh, for that style, kind of like, you know, every day of the week. And then I got this style, and it was very inexpensive too, which really looks like a little dress. And it's got, you know, like the little full skirt, it comes down long. I don't know, I like, I like little nightgowns that look kind of like little dresses. I think it just, I like their... I think it looks really cute going to bed and little things like this. So I did want to uh, show that uh, because the price was so good and it was from Target. The next one is just something I am so tickled. I'm just tickled to death with this. And it is the Bad Head Wave Artist. I heard about this uh, from Erin Busby, Busby Style. She did a tutorial on it and her hair looked amazing. It looked like mermaid waves in her hair. It's just so beautiful. So I watched her video. I bought this. It was under $20. My daughter and daughter-in-law saw it, my hair, and they liked it so well that I got them one for themselves and for to use on their girls. So um, be sure, I'm going to link Erin's video below, and she has all the information on how you can get it. She uh, purchased it from Amazon. And be sure and watch her video because uh, she just makes it look so easy and she's so pretty anyway. So, Erin, I really appreciate you showing that and showing the video because um, uh, I'm thrilled with it. And I, I like it too because it really lasts. It lasts several days until you shampoo your hair again. And you can do different things with your hair, but the wave will still s stay in it. So, that is, that's, that's been a really highlight. For me and under twenty dollars you just can't beat the price the next one's kind of strange too it is a year's supply of uh, exfoliating gloves to use on my body in the shower i love uh body shops the body shops exfoliating gloves and they're five dollars each and so the reason i got a year's supply of them is I always just kind of used my gloves for a you know, couple of months and then you know would toss them. But I read a thing, uh, an article that said you should at least once a month wash your gloves in hot water. So I did that. But when I washed the gloves in hot water, I used to, you know, a little bag, put them in a little bag. It lost the exfoliation of it. It wasn't, the gloves weren't as rough. The washing it softened it. So what I decided to do is the first of the month, just toss out the old, old pair and then, you know, put a new pair in my shower and use that. What I read was that it can cause a fungus if you use, if you go more than like a month without either washing them or using a new pair. You can get like a little fungus on your back. I think it's usually, what I read was usually on your back or on your chest. And you end up having to get, use like cell some blue and make a little paste and put it on there. So I just didn't want that to happen. So I thought, well, I'm just gonna do it once a month. Uh, and uh, so I won't have to worry about it. So that's why I have a year's supply of gloves from the body shop. 
and the next one, like everybody else in the world, I got caught up watching April the Giraffe, and it was so much fun because I did it with uh, several other people by text. We would, you know, watch and text each other. But I got this little shirt. Uh, And it says, you know, worth the wait with April and her little her little baby giraffe. But I jazzed it up a little bit. I cut the collar and made it off the shoulder. So I had my, you know, I laid my gloves as well after I talked about them. I laid them on the floor and he snuck in here and just looked up at me and just grabbed it and took off. So I had to chase him down and get him back from him. <laughs> okay, see where I was. Um, I got some of the my Shiseido White Lucent. This is what I use to clean my cleanse my skin with. So I got uh, some more of that. I got some um, glycone, glycolic acid. This is what I use on my body. I've done a video about it. I bought it from Dr. Cynthia Bailey, and I get a lot of good information from her website. I will link it below. Um, she uh, is where I first found out, I had done some uh, research on glycolic acid, and she's the one where I first found out that it helps those bumps that you get on the back of your arm. It can help fade your spots, and um, you know, she, she just knows a lot of information, it gives a lot of information about glycolic acid. And she sells uh, kits for different things, like an acne kit and things like that. So. Uh, I always buy my glycolic acid from her, from her. I think it's a good price, and uh, so uh, that I got that this month. I got some Abaji blender that I needed to mix with my Retin-A at night. I got my Sephora gift set. I got the Tarte. Uh, I got the Tarte makeup one, the birthday birthday gift, and it's a pretty. It's a really pretty blush. Real pretty blush and pretty lipstick. So that was from uh, Sephora, their birthday thing. Let's see, Ulta had some, their birthday was some, the new mascara from Lancome. And I got some uh, restocked up on my YSL mascara. I love this mascara. To me, it's it just, I love the formula. I love the color. I get burgundy. It's just I just, I really like it a lot. It's one of the few, very, very few, that just doesn't smear on me, especially in this heat. So, I really like it a lot. I got a Viseart palette. It's for the cheeks. It's, uh, it's actually a blush and a um, bronzer and a highlighter, but I use it on my eyes. I use them, this all over and this in the crease and right above is a transition color and this in the outer corner and underneath. I love it on my eyes. It didn't get really great reviews, I don't think, but I really like it on my eyes a whole lot because it's, it brings out my eyes, but in a, a little bit more natural way. So it, it was just real pretty, I thought, for spring and summer. And then I got the um, Viseart Theory Palette in Amethyst. It was just so gorgeous. And I know everybody has done uh, videos on it over and over again, but I may end up having to do one too because it's so pretty. I really like it. I might not be able to help myself. So the last two things are going to be pictures because I've already got them set up. But uh, I went through and just really was brutal with getting rid of donating eyeshadows and lipsticks and just really getting things organized that I just knew I wouldn't use and that maybe somebody else could. So um, I got them all organized and I got uh, a little acrylic makeup organizer and in the top of it I'll show a picture of okay, the top of it is you can put your lipsticks and then three drawers down and then two drawers down drawers bigger drawers down from that and it's got a little lining in it so things won't slide around so I've really been enjoying that a lot last item is a little tiny refrigerator I like to keep my vitamin C serum cold because it you know lasts stays fresher that way 
So I'm not great in the mornings, and so I fumble downstairs and put the serum on, get it out of the refrigerator, and then, you know, fumble back upstairs to get ready. To a picture now, it's so cute because it looks like kind of an old-timey refrigerator, and it really keeps it nice and cool. It's got enough room you could put, you know, a few drinks in there, and my kids, my grandkids really, really like it so much because they, they think it's so cute, and they think it's neat that they can put drinks when they spend the night upstairs in the refrigerator. So, uh, I was real tickled with that and I don't have a very big bathroom my bathroom was created sometime in the last hundred years probably out of a closet so it's real tiny and this doesn't take up a lot of counter space because I every every little bit of space in that bathroom is is uh, precious so that is my video I think this is the fifth time I've, I've filmed it I hope it turns out I think I'm gonna upload it no matter what even if I have lipstick on my teeth or you know, whatever. I don't, I, I'm at the point now I don't even care. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you on Monday when I show my outfits of the week. And I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the week and weekend. I appreciate you watching. Bye bye.